Although golf fanatics in the DFW area and the rest of Texas have known golf's lanky mystery man since he was barely taller than a standard golf club, most people still don't know who this blonde wonder kid is. This is the unknown story of Will Zalatoris, his mythical beginnings, his legendary achievements, his astonishing girlfriend, and a few surprises along the way. Most people quit after a couple of failures, but you can't be a quitter if your name is Will. What keeps Zalatoris going is a dream he's had since he was a little boy. Like his idol Tiger Woods, he just wants to win majors and win on the PGA Tour, and this was why he refused to join the Live. When Richard Zalatoris decided to move his family from California to Texas, it was both a business and a golf decision. He was handling a major mall renovation that made him fly between the two states three to four days every week, and his son needed to play more junior golf tournaments. For the son of a 30-year US military pilot and an airman himself, it wasn't the fear of flying, it was Will's future. And for Will, who hopes to one day be a pilot like his grandpa, dad, and uncles, Texas was the perfect test for his young wings. Nine-year-old Zalatoris left the California Country Club, where he was inspired by the on-display US Open trophy of Cal Club pride Ken Venturi to join Bent Tree Country Club in Dallas. In Texas, Zalatoris grew up playing golf with future top dogs of the trade. How close to the top are we talking about? What could top being paired with Scotty Scheffler and Jordan Spieth in your first two junior events? Um, playing against them at major championships? Guess the Lone Star State is not a Lone Star State after all. Scotty is only two months older than Will, and Jordan is the oldest of the trio. Being three years older meant he was also the strongest. It wasn't like he could bench press a motor home, you know. It was just that strength that comes with reaching puberty first. Will has a story about a casual round among the three when he and Scotty were 11 and Jordan was already 14. Jordan started with a bad tee shot, then made six birdies on the next eight holes on the front nine. He scored 29 and shot 63 at the end of the round. Yeah, he's been that good for a long time. The three met competitively on the local Legends Junior Tour and later the US Junior Amateur, which they all won. Jordan twice in 2009 and 2011, Scotty in 2013, and Will in 2014. It was Will's last year of eligibility, and Davis Riley took a 5-3 loss from him after losing to Scheffler the previous year. Will's ability to hit the ball so powerfully and efficiently betrays his wiry frame. It was what earned him the Arnold Palmer Scholarship to play collegiate golf at Wake Forest University, but he nearly missed it. He was playing alongside Tucker Watkins, the youngest son of PGA Tour legend Lanny Watkins, at Trinity Christian Academy when the 21-time PGA Tour winner spotted Zalatoris and called Jerry Haas, the coach of Wake Forest's Demon Deacons, to keep an eye out for the boy. Haas made his interest known to Will, but when the time came to prove his worth to his suitors at the 2012 Western Junior Championship, Zalatoris froze. He scored 77-78 which made Texas and Stanford look away. But Haas believed in Will's potential and gave him the AP scholarship. And like a true prophecy, Will confirmed Jerry's suspicions. In 2014, he swept the Texas State Amateur, Trans Miss, and U.S. Junior Amateur. He wasn't a pilot, but that boy was flying. For the 2017 Walker Cup, he teamed up with Doug Yim, Colin Marikawa, Maverick McNeely, old pal Scotty Scheffler, and others to give the U.S. a 19-7 victory over their opponents from Great Britain and Ireland. It was the biggest victory in 20 years. The next year, he skipped his senior year at Wake Forest to go pro, but left them something special. Will set the school's scoring average of 70.44, beating the 70.87 record by Jerry's nephew Bill Haas. By then, he played in several competitions on the PGA Tour, once on the DP Tour, and once on the Web.com Tour. He was 18 years old when he was first invited to play at the 2015 AT&T Byron Nelson, a tournament he'd never missed since he was 9 years old. His dream was coming true, but a nightmarish bellyache that turned out to be the result of a perforated appendix squashed that dream. He was replaced with Austin Connolly, and the following year, he reclaimed his exemption and played at the Byron Nelson. Like his amateur career, pro-life was just as hard for Zalatoris. He failed to make it past the first stage of the Corn Ferry Tour. So, for the boy who enjoyed a privileged life as the only child of two hard-working parents, it was time to hustle. 
To play on the Corn Ferry Tour, he did battle at Monday qualifiers and searched for sponsors exemptions. He eventually secured membership with a T3 finish at the LeCom Health Challenge in June 2019. Will went on a streak of 16 made cuts, including 11 top 20s and a victory at the 2020 TPC Colorado Championship. He was a star on the Corn Ferry Tour, and a star only wants to be among other stars. He could see what Scheffler and Spieth were achieving on the big stage, and he wanted some of that too. Next up was the PGA Tour, and again, Zalatoris had to fight for his place at the table. Through sponsors' exemptions and invitations, he got to play at major championships and PGA Tour events. At his first U.S. Open invitation, he made a hole-in-one and shot 70-71 on the weekend to tie the world number one at the time, Dustin Johnson, for sixth. Many thought it was a fluke until he almost snatched Japan's first major from Hideki Matsuyama with a one-stroke silver medal finish at the 2021 Masters. There was a silver lining, though. For his performance, he won the Arnold Palmer Award as the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year while playing on a special temporary member status and earned full membership. But it would seem that, in Will's life, big wins move hand-in-hand -hand with huge losses. In 2022, he lost the playoff for the Farmers Insurance Open to Luke List and another playoff for the PGA Championship to Justin Thomas. Then, he tied Scotty Scheffler for second at the 2022 US Open. How would you feel if you were Zalatoris? Tell us in the comments. He has made many birdies and eagles in the hopes of winning a major championship, but with three runner-up medals from 10 starts, surely there's an albatross around his neck. His early years of striking thousands of golf balls into a net finally paid off as he became the wild underdog ripping the field apart with elite ball striking and improved putting also made him more dangerous. But the most dangerous thing about this man is his heart, something he got from his mother, Catherine, a former 400 and 800 meter star at the University of Oregon. We all know what it takes to run a lap, especially if it's made of chicken and running down our throats. She taught him to take it easy from the start and go for the kill on the weekends. That's pure long distance sprinting mentality and that discipline has taken him far. One area where Will is not so disciplined and doesn't care to be is his eating habits. He might not look like it, but Zalatoris is a big foodie. He said this and his love for golf came from his dad. If you want to touch Will's heart, get him some dim sum from a cart. He loves that stuff, but he doesn't love it more than love itself. In 2018, Will started dating Caitlin Sellers, a fellow psychology major at Wake Forest. Their love budded into an engagement after he scared Matsuyama at Augusta in 2021. Zalatoris, who has played best man on several occasions, was finally ready to get his own bride. He was overjoyed when Caitlin bagged a master's degree in marketing from the University of Texas. He joked on his Instagram page that he could now say they had two degrees between them, and he was going to get the third hinting at a possible return to finish his college degree. Caitlin has been a fixture at his tournaments, and his Instagram is regularly updated with pictures of them on walks or at sporting events. And sporting events are another of Will's obsessions. According to his PGA Tour profile page, Will's favorite off-course moment was watching the San Francisco Giants win the World Series in Game 5. As for the teams he supports, he's torn between his love for California and Texas. He cheers for the San Francisco Giants, the Golden State Warriors, and the Dallas Cowboys. How many teams do you support? Tell us in the comments. He must love the Dallas Cowboys, especially since his big brother is the club's legend. No, Tony Romo is not a Zalatoris. He just gave Will a lot of advice while they played money games almost every day during the lockdown. While watching others triumph can be an unforgettable experience, Witnessing your own success is unbeatable. In August 2022, at the FedEx St. Jude Championship at TBC Southwind in Memphis, Tennessee, Will Zalatoris came out on top after a roller coaster three hole playoff against Sepp Straka. After round three, Zalatoris was tied for third, two strokes behind leader JJ Spawn, and one stroke behind Sepp Straka. JJ Spawn lost his lead to Straka and Zalatoris, who went mano a mano for the prize. And Will could be heard saying, What are they going to say now? as he made the putt that took him into the playoff. It was an emotional cry inspired by his hero Steph Curry, who shouted the same words after the Warriors won the 2022 NBA Finals. But we know what they are going to say now. They are going to say, even though Will Zalatoris looks like Owen Wilson and the caddy from Happy Gilmore, he's no joke. He is not the almost wanted guy. He's a real winner, a champion. Be sure to check out Golf Plus for more fantastic golf videos. See you there.